well, Bartow is a very small city, a very quiet city. Not a lot of stuff happens. Real slow. I mean, that's why I like it, because it's so peaceful and you stay away from trouble. So it's a fun place to live. Bartow is a nice, quiet town, very uh, family oriented. A good place for children to raise children. Uh, and I want, we have an east side and a west side. On the east, west side is where I, we live, and everyone seems to know everyone. So they are, you don't get away with doing anything without your parents knowing it. So, but I thought Bato was a, is a good place to raise children. Stay out of trouble. My family always kept me in events like playing chess, playing baseball, like over here growing up, and playing video games. I didn't go out much. Just staying around these, around these areas. Growing up, he was always very active, and so I got him involved in sports. Actually, he played baseball uh, from t-ball all the way to like ninth grade. Here is where, where, where I started playing my. Baseball, funnest experience of my life. Growing up with my cousins, all my family members coming out here every, pretty much every day practicing. And hitting home runs, having competitions during the games and stuff, it was like so much fun. I played, we would have to deal with that during the games as well. Uh, most of my home runs were hit out that, during that way, but yeah. I love this place, and as you can see, no one comes here anymore. It's, it's pretty historic in my mind, though, so I'll never forget about this place. Once I found a love for baseball, it was just like, I didn't want to, I didn't even want to come out here, and like the people that played out here were so rough and stuff, and they were so much older than me. I mean, I didn't want to go in there and get banged up and stuff. And then right over there where this is built, they used to have this little thing where we played wall ball. You know how you play wall ball with the tennis ball and hit each other. And if you got hit too hard, I would walk on the other side and go cry for a little bit just for a little while. Because like everyone, when I first got here, everyone was so much older than me and I had to like, it was a real process. Like that's what's so good about this city. Like seeing the people like that are aged now and I watched them grow up and go to college and stuff and do their thing. Now it's my turn and then they look down at me like, it's a, it's a cool experience, so seeing like people like that, I know those people are right there too. I used to go to my church. But uh, as far as this basketball court, now if I come back, I mean, I'll run it, but back then I wouldn't, I would almost think about coming out here. It's pretty cool. Yes, he was. He always involved in church, and I can say he played drum. After uh, my grandson, uh, left high school, Chris took over playing drum. He was good. This is the very drum set that myself and my friend Daryl used to play on growing up. And it was cool because we used to come in and play, trade off the eight o'clock service, kind of training for us, like for when we got to the 11 o'clock service, because my big cousin Jasper used to play before he left for the military. So that was good training. So playing here every Sunday, getting paid to do it, so it was a it was a fun experience, and get, getting to do it with your best friend, so. Well, he actually started taking drum lessons. I took him to um, this place in Winter Haven, and he took drum lessons. And my nephew, uh, Jasper Stevens, was the church drummer before Christopher. So when, Christopher graduated, when Jasper graduated from high school, then Christopher became the church drummer. Well, the church is really important to me because the people that I grew up with and stuff, they always, they still have my back even to this day. People that I went to church with, like the old deacons and stuff, they still talk to me to this day. They go, they come to games sometimes, and having that having that kind of support system is that's the best thing you could ask for. Being so close to home. Still to come on USF basketball, we take a look back at the Bulls in action. AC going to the basket. Now he leaves it for Chris Perry. There's a big two-handed dunk by the sophomore. USF basketball run with us is brought to you by. Florida prepaid.
Canes Furniture, Tampa General Hospital, UPS, and USF Health. Don't go anywhere, more USF basketball when we return. <laughs> 